Hey guys, welcome to my new Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles. In this will be love, action, war, excitement, death. It is a JPRG, more like a visual novel, I think, than anything. But it's also a tactical military kind of game. So here's the deal. We're not going to be doing the tactical too much on the channel. It's going to be mostly the story. I'll show you bits from the tactical, but this, I didn't, I found that I don't like the way their tactical set up. I don't, it's not like a lot of the strategy games I normally play. So by it not being like that, we're not going to do it. Today, we are at a Jello Alert level three. We are at, a, and he's just sitting there sleeping, I think, but he could be up anytime. It's getting pretty close to his wake up time. And we are at a Ghost Alert level zero. He's asleep, passed out beside me. Don't know why. So we're going to hop right in. Now, the problem I'm having is the music and the cutscenes louder than their text, their speech. So of course all the closed captions on, but it's annoying because it makes it really hard to hear what they say. So other than that, that's not something I can fix unfortunately. But oh, I do have a new mic. I'm gonna hope it works out. We're gonna see how this new mic works. I've been playing around with different ways to use it. So we're gonna head in right now. I will see you there. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue. Gallia to arms. All right, so I guess this is going to be the prologue, so I'm not too unhappy with that. Let's a oh, new episode. What's going on here? New episode. So my understanding is each chapter has one or two battles in it so i'm going to try to keep these filmings down to a chapter at a time but i suspect if it has two battles that'll probably get split up on multiple lps um i think this oh see tab select what can I, oh nope i guess we can't go anywhere i guess um what it is is we'll just get going folks first i'm going to save it and then i'll see you there march 1935, outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? For 
freeze. Put your hands in the air. Slowly. Ooh, thigh shot. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin. And you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melkiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. Uh, this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. And you know she's going to be my love interest. You can tell with the way we start this out. Uh, thanks, fish. All right, yeah, you know that's going to go, well, probably very well in the end, but poorly to begin with. Um, new episode... So not give me access to anything else, I don't think, is it? No. So I do know, I played this a little bit before my mic, old mic gave out. Oh, I have a new mic. That's kind of part of the problem. With the new mic, i got to figure out how to get it the best record. Because it doesn't record quite the same as my old headset. And I, what I need to do is probably break out my snowball and see if I can get it to work. I just don't have a... a maybe I should get a board that I can keep it on. That might work. And then I can move it back and forth with it by script to the board. All right, we're going to get going. Uh, oh, and I may end up doing Assassin's Creed at the same time I'm doing this. This might not be everybody's style because it's a Japanese RPG slash you know, visual novel type thing. I may end up throwing up Assassin's Creed Unity with this and Inner Spikes, and like I did with like I did with Witcher Three and Dragon Age, except they're not going to be similar because they're totally different types of games, and so there might not be a loss of storyline there. So let's keep going. Bugs and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> code to your right. heart. To your heart, well, Alicia. Is that you? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait... Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Busted. Oh. <clears throat> Busted. I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> okay, that's pretty serious, though. You don't see that in most video games. Well, you, that's not true, you do. But more serious than I thought with the style here, with the, with the colors Welcome. and stuff. You can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Okay, I don't mean color. I mean anime-ish style. Whatever you want to call it. Cell shaded style? I don't know. I'm having a day. It's an early morning, and I'm hoping this recording works. I'm a little nervous. Also, a little just tired. Alright, let's hop into our first battle, folks. First battle. Okay, here's the plan.
We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. I'm the lower blue people. Oh my god, I hope that's blue. Maybe that's not blue. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Both foreign and domestic. Let's take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. Okay, victory, all enemies defeated. Failure, Welkin dies, Alicia dies, or 20 turns pass. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. Now, this has a lot of symbols. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Now, listen a second. There's some. No, you don't need to explain anything to me because this is actually a lot like XCOM, except for during combat. You can like do multiple commands to one character at a declining ability to use them. So, so that's what it is. Let's take the town watchman. He's kind of disposable because if you noticed, the failure did not say anything about him dying. Nope, I don't need to read any of this because I did a couple of practice battles. So you folks, while well, they were in practice, I was trying to start the LP and my mic gave out. So, and I didn't know it like halfway through the filming. So it kind of sucked. But like I said, I'll probably do a little bit of Assassin's Unity just because you guys can like switch between, or maybe you just want to see both. That's good too. All right, let's let's put it up to a skull and do that. Get rid of them. But you know, this is actually a pretty cool game. Like there are so many people who who promote this game. It's kind of like one of those not well known, but the ones that do know of it really like it. And the reason I'm not really showing you all the instructions on how to do the combat is I already figured it out myself. And you know what? I know you guys didn't want to necessarily have to see it. It's this is not one of my war, war strategy games. I am starting those up again. Here we go. Um, I've been trying to move everything over from my old Strange Whispers account, so that's taken all my time. I've already moved over like. All the videos, like all thousand videos, and I've uploaded about a third of them. I'm not going to upload them all in the beginning, but they're all eventually going to be doing their own line. That way, you guys can see. I mean, I refer to myself as Strange Whispers, which is fine, but yeah. Come on, give me some shots. There we go. Nice shot there, Welkin. Yes. Nice shot. Now, there's like lots of lots of those normal what you'd expect from a Japanese role play game where. Like if they get their special power Look powers out. up or running around them. So there's some interesting, maybe insultful characters. But I think it wasn't, I mean, it was meant to be funny, but it didn't get as bad an impression. You'll see, I'll, I'll make a comment when I take you guys to it. But it looks like we're not going to be able to get all the way over. Can we crouch down? I don't think. Can she? Yeah, it's going to take two missions. So, basic idea, so you, when you see me playing this, the two kills, how many direct shots will do it. Shots is how many shots if I hit. Um, the versus person versus armor and area tells you what kind of opponents it can take out. And he's too far away for me to actually kill him, but I can hurt him. He's going to run at me, shoot at me a couple times, and then I'll get killed next round. Alicia, probably the most badass with a rifle. It really is kind of an interesting game. I like it. The only problem is you don't up individuals. You end up upping whole, there's scouts, there's shock troops. There's, you only up them as a group. I'm not gonna make you guys go through the upping because the upping isn't actually any role play or anything like that. It's purely just this, um, you select and you roll it up a chart as you spend XP on different lines. The same with upgrading weapons. I don't, it's not even like XCOM where there's role play, but interaction between the characters for that. Other than R&D, there's kind of some silly stuff, but. No, I think I feel pretty good with just not having you guys worry about that. All right, let's get down here. Can we get a shot on his head? On his head. Okay, by the way, it will miss. does not necessarily hit that crosshairs in the circle. So that's why you try to get it as lined up as you can. Like that. We did it. Because we're awesome. Awesome. Operation complete. I don't see any more of them. Oh, look at that. A B. I got a B grade. I'll take it. I suspect this first LP will be short. 
because there's not very many things to do, and I think we're only like, well, I guess we're at 17 minutes, but I know I'll cut a lot of that military stuff out, a lot of tactical stuff. Miss Melkiot, there's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. What are those? Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust of persecution and hate and of love blooming even through the flames of war what follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought lived and died woo the valkyria chronicles Hell yeah, I do love the artwork. The artwork is really good. I don't know if I'd want it for all my games, but like, it is such a different mix that it makes me happy. Oh, so we're on to the next chapter, chapter one. You know what that means. First, we're going to see if we have any other options up here. Still no other options, not able to spend XP or do anything like that. So I'm going to leave you here, folks. I will see you next time. Hopefully the new mic worked. Till then.